Vitanol will be stable. 24-year-old Taras Zarvansky has taken this weapons training class before, but isn't comfortable with the AK-47 just yet. To be honest, the gun still feels a little heavy. Zarvansky, whose background is in marketing, tells CBN News he decided to join Ukraine's civil defense force after watching videos of Russian troops targeting innocent civilians. I completely changed my attitude after they started bombing Kharkiv. Now I'm ready to kill them. Wednesday, Zarvansky and 13 others, all from different walks of life, watched and listened as a Ukrainian army instructor showed them how to assemble and disassemble, charge and aim guns. 49-year-old Vadim builds homes for a living. Russian troops destroyed his home north of Kyiv last week during an attack on his city of Bucha. I've been thinking about learning how to use a weapon since the war started in 2014, because our enemy is really insidious and Putin will not stop until we beat him. Thousands of civilians like Vadim have been getting training on weapons and other military skills to defend their country against Russian invaders. I made a decision for myself that it is necessary to teach as many people as possible. Not to kill, but how to survive in the best way possible in the fight. Many women, like Maria Opaka, want to join the fight. When you see all of this, you understand that we have to do everything now to protect ourselves and our territory as much as you can. Meanwhile, many living abroad are coming back home. The reports are that some 140,000 Ukrainians who used to live outside of the country have returned since Russia's invasion. And in fact, by the way, the Ukrainian embassy in Washington, D.C. is reporting that some 3,000 Americans have also signed up to fight the Russians. Ukraine's government started a website last week encouraging foreign volunteers to join the so-called International Legion to fight Russian forces. President Zelensky claimed thousands of fighters from 52 countries were already on their way. The first of 16,000 are coming to defend the liberty and life of us and of everyone. I'm sure it will be successful. Among them, this foreign fighter named Static, who was filmed instructing volunteers on use of a RPG launcher. You're fighting for democracy Where do you because go? democracy is precious and one man shouldn't decide that another country shouldn't have it. Not to be outdone, Russia is also reportedly recruiting foreign fighters. According to the Wall Street Journal, Syrian mercenaries are being deployed to Ukraine, along with fighters from Chechnya. George Thomas, CBN News, Lviv, Ukraine.